Welcome to Office 2010 video number 50. Hey, in our last video, we saw how to do mail merge from Excel data and fix the formatting problem in Word using field codes and typed in code. In this video, we want to do mail merge between a Word letter that we're going to print out and a Excel workbook. We're going to fix the problem not in Word, but in Excel. So I'm going to open up this Excel file. By the way, we downloaded these a couple videos ago. And for this video, I copied this letters to start over a second time and named it something um, like mail merge Excel text function. Last video, we copied this over and used this one. All right, I first want to, before we open this Word document, I want to open this Excel file. And we saw that there's a problem when you have a table like this with field names and records. And our goal is to print out, in this case, six letters, each addressed to a different name. And the letter shows the student the scores they have. Well, this these are numbers. And in Excel, when you mail merge these, you have a problem. So I'd like to show you how to fix that. Not in Word like we did in this vi last video, but in Excel. Now, here's our original sheet. If I click on this grades email, this is our original table. And so what we did is we copied this over. And now we want to do a function that will convert these numbers to text values here in Excel. If you do that, if you export through mail merge text elements, there's no problem. But if you export through mail merge a number, there is a problem. There's a formatting problem. All right. So on this sheet, I'm going to delete all of these numbers. And we're going to build a function. And we're going to use in, we're in cell C3. So I'm going to type equals text. Text function is great. It allows us to take a value and convert it to text. So I'm on the sheet. Uh, grades email too, but I need to get the numbers from over here. So with my cursor flashing, I'm going to click on the sheet. And then I'm going to click on cell C3. Up here, you can see the sheet reference grades email explanation point. That says this is a sheet reference. And then the cell C3. Now, here's our screen tip. I can't just hit Enter because I need to fix the formula, finish the formula. So I'm going to click up here. And now I I have to type a comma to get to this format text argument. Now, you have to know custom number format. In our last video, we saw that we could type a 0.00. .00 so that's all we have to type here. And it has to be in double quotes. That's a requirement of the format text argument, so 0.00. .00. What this says is I'm going to take the custom number format, that which we learned a lot about number format in Excel back when we were studying Excel. But this is just a number format. As long as you put it in quotes, the text function will take whatever numbers in that cell and convert it to text in that number format. Now I'm going to close parentheses and Enter. Notice I'm on this sheet completing my formula. But when I hit Enter, it'll automatically jump back to this sheet. So I'm going to hit Enter. And here I am on this sheet here. I'm going to copy this formula down and over. Just like that, you remember in our earlier study of Excel, numbers are aligned to the right, and text is aligned to the left. So we immediately have a visual cue that this is text. Now, I'm going to copy this over. And this will not work for a percentage. So I'm going to click in this cell in F2. All we have to do is alter our custom number format by typing a percentage symbol. I'm going to enter that. And notice, align to the left, but perfectly formatted, just like it was a number. I'm going to double click and send this down. And that's the way I like to usually solve this mail merge problem. I create a different uh, sheet, have the formulas pointing to the raw data over there in the other table, and use the text function. All right, I'm going to save this and close this. Now when we create our mail merge, and I'm going to do it in a pretty much fast uh, speed here, because last video we, we did it in slow speed. I'm going to open this and create our mail merge. Now here's our letter. I'm going to blow this up as big as I can. And we're going to need to insert uh, merged uh, 
or fields here, 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 and here, so that we will have uh, code here that will tell this Word document to look over to that Excel file. And the result will have six separate letters because there's six records over in that Excel file. All right, I'm going to go up to Mailings. I'm going to use this step by step. I'm going to, in step one, we want letters. Step two, use current document. I'm going to click Next. Browse. This is step three. This is the important step where we browse and connect the Word document to our Excel file. I'm going to go to our Highline Winter 216 class notes mail merge. These are all the files we downloaded from last time. We just altered this, so I'm going to double, uh, double click to tell Word mail merge to look there. We'll take a little second. This, this, my computer, just like in the last video, is having problems. But if I pull the edge, we can see the uh, text box here. That is the correct sheet in Excel. I'm going to click OK. We can see, unlike our last video, our last video we had, we could see in this preview here that we had uh, trouble with our numbers. But boom we can clearly see there is no trouble with these numbers. The formatting is perfect. I'm going to uncheck this first record because we don't need it. I'm going to click OK. That means that we are now connected. This Word document is connected. There's the sheet. There's the workbook. I'm going to go down here, write your letter. I'm going to now make sure that my cursor is flashing right before the comma. There's a space and a comma. I'm going to click on this More Items. I'm going to double click Name, Close, back over to More Items, oops, Cancel, I forgot to move my cursor, More Items, Score 1, either double clicking or clicking Insert, Close, move this, actually why don't I go like this, it's easier to see, Score 2, Close, More Items, Score 3, close, final grade, more items, percentage grade, insert, oops, I made a mistake, no problem, close, backspace, backspace, and there we have it. I'm going to go down over here to preview your letter. We can clearly see, beautiful, I click uh, number 3 to go to the next one, absolutely beautiful. You can preview. You can exclude recipients. We want all of them, so now we go from step five to uh, step six, complete the merge. And same as last video, we just click print. And when we have all selected and we click OK, actually the print dialog box comes up. You select whatever printer you're going to. And when you click OK, boom, six letters print out. See, uh, so in this video we saw how to fix the mail merge number formatting problem in Excel using the text function. In our uh, last video coming up next, we'll see how to do an email mail merge, uh, getting data from Access. All right, see you next video.